unbox today. an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. So we've been in Bali way longer than we expected, getting visas sorted, getting passports sorted, but I've got a feeling we're going to be out of here real soon. Click the button bell. <laughs> oh, you should have zapped daddy's fingers just then. Birthday, my mum's birthday today. We've got a sad little piece of cake here, but <laughs> we only could find three candles. Um, she would have been 67 today. We're losing one. Oh! Oh, sacrifices. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, sitting around thinking about grandma. So it's a rainy afternoon here in Bali. Um, we've had the day out sorting out visas and sorting out renewing passports. How both the kids' passports are running out in less than six months. So. We've had to organise new passports, but we're back on the boat and we're just going to have a chill afternoon. Bella and I made a face mask, so we're going to put a face mask on. I'm making some toast, so we're going to have Vegemite and toast and watch a movie with a face mask. It's a really easy one. It's got honey, turmeric, rice flour and it's coconut oil. We're just going to paint it on our face. This fella started with uh, just a little dot there. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to turn yellow after putting it on, are we? <laughs> anyway, we're going to chill. Watch a movie, face mask, girl time, Vegemite and toast on our walnut sourdough. Oh yeah! Alright, so I'm making Vegemite on toast, right? For all those people out there that don't like Vegemite, she didn't grow up with it, I'm going to give you a tip. Don't put... This is how you make Vegemite toast. You put a shit ton of butter because butter is the best and I love butter. And then you make sure you got plenty of butter and then not much as you might. But you only put, even that's too much, you just put the littlest bit. I watch videos of people that are trying Vegemite for the first time and they're like piling on like peanut butter. No, no. That's where you're going wrong. So you just Lots of butter, little bit of Vegemite. How do you do it? Please, just a little bit. Oh, Mr. Spot of butter. Just like that. <laughs> That's how you try Vegemite. If you haven't had Vegemite before, lots of butter. Only a little bit of Vegemite. So, <laughs> Bella and I. We made some face masks tonight, and um, I think they've done wonders for our skin. <laughs> so it was a homemade turmeric mask, and uh, yeah, it's. We thought when I put it on, I was like, oh, maybe this will stain our face. <laughs> and yes, it has. It's given us a nice orange tinge or yellow glow. Um, if you want the recipe, guys, I'll. I'll put it down below or you can send us a message. I'm sure everybody wants to have this beautiful glow on their face. So um, we'll let you know. It's perfect beauty routine. I just, I look so much younger yellow. <laughs> that was a big ass fail. <laughs> sure, this is what you want happening. It feels lovely and uh, I'm sure it will come off in a day or two. But yeah, true week masks do stain your face. We have pulled anchor this morning here at Banoa Harbour in Bali and we are on our way. The sun is shining. The Look sun is that. shining. We were going to leave yesterday but we woke up the storms and it was pouring rain so today's a bad day. How was your Bali experience? Oh look it was a little longer than expected but you know, boats hit you now and then. 
got to make the most of it. Fix your boat up and keep going. We had some good times, we had some scary times. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was pretty good. It's a good time to visit Bali, wasn't it? Yeah, all in all, everything's so quiet and um, we didn't have a lot of money to spend, but what we did spend was, um, I think everyone was pretty grateful for it. Uh, there's just not a lot of money going around here and there's a lot of people really suffering and you know, I'd say 90% of shops have shut down. So, yeah. We yeah. were happy to help with what we could. Yeah. We're on our way and uh, on for new adventures. On to new adventures, should I say. So we're heading across to Lombok today and um, there is it's the Lombok Straits and they're known for strong currents. Lots of Lots of uh, wind against sea and swirly whirlies and all sorts of carry-on. Open balls. We should get there though. Yeah, so we'll see how we go, but we're uh, two minutes into our journey and it's already in current. Yeah. That's not a good sign. But it's about 40 nautical miles over to where we're going today. So just going past where we surf over here, that's Sarangan. Didn't feel much of a surfing over there, but we had a few surfs.
don't you just love it when you cut open an avocado and it's not brown or gone bad? It's the best. I serve my family, and this is how I serve up my own food. But it still tastes pretty yum.
doing this, it's hectic. Really hard to see the ships. I can see them on the AAS and they just come out of the train. Oh, man. He didn't wear himself out enough. He put the rod back out and uh, he's back on. We thought we might as well fill the freezer with some fish. How are those arms feeling? You're regretting it now, aren't you? <laughs> I thought we could toughen up when we got into the flat water. He's only a little one though. Might be all right. Just about arrived at Gilligga Day, the bottom of Lombok, and it's about 50 nautical miles we've travelled today. It's taken us 10 hours and a, well, nearly 11 hours, 10 hours and 40 minutes. But we're only a 0.7 of a nautical mile to where we're going to anchor. The poor captain's a bit wet over there. to drop the anchor and have a warm shower and have a cold beer, hey? <laughs> what do you want a hot beer? Can we heat up a beer for you? We arrived in Lombok and caught up again with our friends off Nalakai. Did you get something? Yeah, we got two things. We've got a like decent sized tray and then Taj got a little jobby. Oh my god! Grab it. It's heavy, it's heavier than that. What is the hell in here? <laughs> it's a big freaking fish. <laughs> is it edible? Yeah. Is he gonna jump at me? No. Oh, it might. Maybe. Oh, it's, it's, it's a big snake. It's what? It's a big uh, What's in here? <laughs> Open it up. So there's something in this box apparently. <laughs> oh, I thought you guys got fish. Uh, what happens when the dads don't come along? They don't get any fish. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like that video. Put a thumbs up and we'll see you next time as we sail on a catamaran without any parents to the next anchorage.